Hi Scorpio, it's L here to do your mid-September 2018 general reading. It's a general read. It will not resonate with everyone. All right, moving forward. Um, I just tried to do your reading. Something happened. I had the five cards pulled. Okay. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe. It's much appreciated. Um... Yeah, let's get into it. This is you right where you are. The five of wands in reverse, all right? So somebody's coming out of the battle, out of pettiness, out of arguing, out of competition, out of um, confusion. Are you on the right path? The sun is here, says yes. Positivity, um, rays of light sh shown, you know, brightening your path and your future some of you uh, could be dealing with a Leo or a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo this is a time where you're coming out of heavy conflict and you're going into contemplation you know was your obstacle here is self-reflection you might have been upright here for a while and now you just want some things were illuminated to you in regards to how someone else felt how you feel what the situation is and now you have to go into that self-reflective mode and, and and figure out what's the next step how do i help me help me Mm, somebody write that down <laughs> um yeah because this is looking at yourself looking at what you've done in the past so you can do differently going forward because if you do the same thing then we know what that is that's insanity we don't want that so some of you are trying to get it right whatever it may be for you what's helping you is Queen of Cups, maybe another water sign or the a mother figure. The fact that you want to be a better mother or or a mother. The fact that you want to be able to give love and receive in a functional relationship. One that is moving toward getting on, on the right path in your life and creating something bigger than just you. I don't know. How can progress be made? Speak your truth. Move forward. Take the next step. If this is apologizing to someone, if this is giving someone your truth, and it and it may be it may be confrontational then do so could be an air sign could be an aquarius in particular but it looks like a lot of healing needs to go on here i don't know what this is about but healing restoration you know, there's a lot of positivity so things were illuminated to you so that you could go within and figure out why things aren't working for you. Working for you in the manner that you want them to work. Yeah, this may be in regards to career, what you believe in, your spiritual beliefs, uh, relationship, um, a long-standing relationship and or marriage. Your traditional beliefs are being um, confronted here. And what you believe or what you believe to be true is now being questioned. And you're trying to get under some spiritual rule and regiment, some, some rain here, and try to rein it in. But, um, yeah, it's like you... You're on some journey, some real quest here. For some of you, it's not that deep. It's as deep as 
it looks like personal relationship to be you know romantic friendship you're really trying to figure out what's wrong with you doing it introspective and self-reflecting that we all need to do at times let it be real and true though don't let it be just for show or just for gain i don't know what that i don't know if you're trying to gain someone's trust and and then believing that you've changed seven of pentacles okay Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Knight of Pentacles. Wow. For some of you, there's some offers on the table. Some of you, there's some, like, there's some earth signs. Some of you dealing with earth signs and air signs. Heavy. Water is here a little bit. Um, but a lot of you are either in long-standing relationship with Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or wanting to be. Some of you looking back at the what you invested your time and energy into. Some of you are really just trying to um, This is polar opposites. We get three tens here. Somebody feels like they've outgrown a situation that they put a lot of time and energy into. This could be a marriage or a long-standing relationship. They're weighing up. Do I stay or do I go? Do I continue the false happiness of this situation? Or do I end it and cause betrayal? Some of you, your money is wrapped up in another person. Your stability, your livelihood is all tangled up. And some of you are waiting for offers. Some of you may be... Let me see what the Queen of Wands is about. Mm -hmm. So you're waiting for money. You're waiting for offers. Yeah. Some of you are in legal battle, court, maybe in regards to money, the separation of something to do with money and assets, children. Emperor, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you with somebody because they get a lot of attention. You guys get a lot of attention when you're out or when you're doing things or putting a lot of work into your body to like either you're exercising heavenly or you've got some work done or whatever um but you're getting a lot of attention and some of you get a lot of attention when you're out with this male it's my females i'm talking to it's superficial but it keeps you stuck and stagnant it keeps you there They're not even looking at each other. Yeah, it keeps you emotionally confused whether to become single and just end this cycle and move away from it. The pseudo happiness. This Ten of Cups, and then a Ten of Swords, and then the Two of Pentacles. Somebody's like weighing up. What do I do? Okay. 
Let's see. Butterfly Oracle deck. Let's see what Scorpio should be focused on moving forward. Be true to you. I can see that. Some of you trying to really like, do I stay? Do I go? What's out there? Some of you may have another person showing up here. We got two queens and one emperor. New exercise program. Didn't I say that? Somebody out there. Ooh, send me some pictures. Get it in, ladies. Get it in, gentlemen. Nice. New exercise program. Be true to you. Retirement. Do we have the Ten of Pentacles here? Some of you may be actu actually retiring from, from work, from um, earning income. You may be retiring an old way of thinking or doing things. You may be shifting from full-time work to part-time work because now you can do that. Take the next step. We saw that here with the Knight of Swords. It's up to you. Take the next step. Okay. Wow. All right. Forgiveness. Emotions. Relationship dynamics. Yeah, that's, this is what it looks like. For some of my Scorpio men, there are two women, two prominent women in your life. You love the both of them. You're trying to figure out where am I? What am I doing? Who do I want to be with? Who do I want to continue to build with? Who, what, what? Uh, and you just don't deal with it. Someone's entered, exited the relationship. The dynamics have changed. Emotions have changed. Someone's gotten enlightenment. Now you feel differently. So the dynamic has changed for you. Relationship dynamics. There's somebody else here. There's someone that left. There's someone came back. Anyhow, to move forward, you're going to have to have that forgiveness and healing here. All right. So let's get us some angel answers. Um, so if you have questions out there, here are your answers. Be of the angels. Thank you, thank you, thank you, heavenly. Oh, I didn't even look at the bottom of the deck. Sentimental feelings. I think this is what someone is having in regards to, like, if somebody's been with someone for a very long time, like, the sentiment is there, of, you know, in regards to leaving. It's like, uh, you know, it's, um, it's emotion wrapped in obligation. And that's when you get sentiment, you know. It's like, it's not just pure emotions. Like, I am head over heels. I am in love. I am in strong like. I don't know. This is just... It's emotion, but it's more obligation. Or... Regret. Guilt. I mean, there's so many different things wrapped in sentiment. Hmm. angel answers in the near future so there's your timeline for some of you out there like when is when am i there you are get more information look for a sign it's up to you it really is especially with this this knight of swords i mean you can pretty make pretty much make this situation Whatever it is you want, Scorpio. I mean, like, you can continue to be in it. You can walk away from it. Peaceful resolution. For some of you, it's like 50-50 out there. Even though I know I'm talking to, you know, lots of Scorpios out there. It's like, some of you want to start something new or you want to stay where you are. Some of you want to go. But leaving is not as easy as, as it sounds. And what we didn't have here is the high priestess, the seven of swords. We don't have anyone listening to their intuition. We don't have anyone devising plans of action to actually move forward. Yet yeah, the seven of swords talks about the sneak, the liar, the cheat. But it also talks about 
making real plans writing things out and looking at them it's so it sounds so trivial and it's so you know small of a of a thing to do but as long as you have something coupled in your head and not on paper where you can look at it then that's just where it is it's in your head and you never get it out so some of you need to write the plan and make it plain all right okay some of y'all know what that's about all right peaceful resolution take care guys um the reading looks like just somebody in a whole bunch of contemplation um figure out what it whatever it is you want to do because it's pretty much up to you like you can do anything here you really can all right all of my information is below if you want to get a yes or no spread oh let's let's do a yes or no spread so we'll do an example um should Scorpio stay or should Scorpio go? Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So, do not take this at 100% face value. You need to get a personal reading to pull your own energy. Um, but we're going to just, you know, for example's sake. And, and it may very well be true for some of you. Should Scorpio stay or go? Now, this could be in relationship, romantic relationship, friendship, business partnership, job, family dynamics. Should Scorpio stay or should they go? So, this is the yes or no spread, all right? If the middle card is reversed, the answer is no. If it's upright, it's yes. And then we have two supporting cards, all right? I mean, if I could shuffle, these cards really want to talk to you, Scorpio. Why are your cards like okay? About time. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords upright. Somebody's in heavy anxiety, stress, stressful situation. Should they stay? Should they go? Ooh, Queen of Wands upright. Yes, you should go. You should take action. Isn't that one of the cards? Yeah, take the next step now. Queen of Wands upright she can de devise the plan of action put things in motion she's charismatic she's charming she's outgoing she's sexy she's this she's that yes three of pentacles some of you should rebuild elsewhere the empress in reverse yeah some of you should rebuild elsewhere some of you may be having fertility problems. Some of you may be having that cause a breakdown here. Some of you may be having problems with, with creation, with creating the life, the relationship you want. Some of you may be having uh, money issues or money is the issue and leaving. All right. Get a personal read. It'll all work out. Thank you once again. All of my information is below. Go over to the website. Book your yes or no spread. It is under the specials tab. So, yep. Book that. Um, any other reading over there is open too. Um, also, you can now talk to Elle. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Check my schedule. Buy time with Elle or buy minutes with Elle over at my website call the number and guess what happens i pick up all right you can talk to me we can talk about whatever you want to talk about okay so scorpio i'm wishing you the best i'm hoping for the best for you i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care guys